Granola bars are my kids' go-to snack, but not all are created equally. Fairway Meat and Grocery Registered Dietitian Whitney Hemmer joins us now to share what to look for in yes. a granola bar. This is great, especially as we head back to school. I know, back to school, everyone I think just gets so busy, and especially mm -hmm. I think in my house, my kids don't go to school yet, but we call daycare school. Yeah. And we find breakfast and those after-school snacks the hardest because in the morning you're in a rush, uh -huh. and after school, if your kids are like mine, they're starving. Yes, and they could eat this whole box. Yes, <laughs> and you need it to be something quick to tide them over till dinner, but not too big because mm. you want them to eat dinner. So I find that granola bars a lot of times are a go-to for both of yeah. those. However, that aisle can be a little overwhelming. There are a lot of options. A lot of options, huge variety nutritionally, and especially when it comes um, for kids, you know, we want them to perform their best academically and physically, so nutrition is really important. So, when it comes to granola bars specifically for kids and even adults, there are three main things you want to look for. So, you want to look for a product that has less than six or seven grams of added sugar. Oh, okay. So, now, if you see here, products now have to have their total sugar and their added sugar listed, which is really nice. So, you can see right from the package label what's added. Okay, so we look for the five to six on added. Yeah, so you want less than like six or seven okay. added. Okay. Because um, fruit naturally has sugar, whole grains naturally have what would be sugar in mm -hmm. there. So what you're concerned with there is that added sugar. Okay. So that's number one you want to look for. And then you want to look for a bar that has at least two grams of fiber and then at least two grams of protein. Okay. So that fiber and protein really helps keep them full. Um, fiber, you know, we need for digestion and to help their tummies from hurting. So you do want to make sure you are including fiber at every meal and snack for kids. That way they can hit their daily goals. Now, do you find a lot of the, the granola bars in stores meet this criteria or do you really have to look at the labels? You really have to look at the labels. And like I said, there's a huge variation, but it's kind of like when you look for a new bread. Once you find that bread, you just keep buying it every time. So you really only have to put the work in one time and find the ones that you or your kids like, and then you can keep purchasing it. So the ones I have in front of us today do fit that criteria. And I will say, if you can even find a granola bar that has some iron in it, that's oh. even better because kids have an increased iron need because they grow so quickly. So most of these do have a little bit of iron. I'm like looking at the Which labels. is great. Okay. Usually cereal is enriched with iron um, so that kids can meet their iron needs because you know the red blood cells are multiplying so quickly because they're growing. But something to keep in mind with that iron, whether it's in a granola bar or a cereal, is our body doesn't absorb that enriched kind of iron as well as it does iron from meat. So if you pair those items with something that has vitamin C, your body absorbs it better. Mm. So if you pair that either cereal or granola bar with an orange, a kiwi, orange juice, your body absorbs it better. Interesting. So that's a great snack anyway to have yes. a fruit with a granola yes. bar. Yes. So I did want to point out these That's It bars. They're called That's It because they're just made with fruit. That's it. So <laughs> these don't meet the um, protein kind of cutoff. But that's okay because they're literally just fruit. And if you pair it with something with a little bit more protein, you do kind of check those boxes. So that kind of works for all of these. If, if it doesn't have quite enough fiber or protein, don't be afraid to pair it with something else like a fruit, nuts, cheese stick, yogurt, all work to help give that granola bar just a little bit more staying power. I love this idea. Is this a hard boiled egg? It is too? a hard boiled egg. Okay, to so add that. great. And they're all pretty much on the go items. So if you're eating in the car, you know, breakfast on the way to school, you can still eat it on the go. And lastly, I did want to point out these made good bars oh, because yeah. they are free of the common allergen. So if your oh. kids go to a, a nut free school, these would be a great granola bar to take while they still meet those added sugar, protein, and fiber requirements. I was just looking at the label, testing myself. Okay, that's a yes. good pick then. And this is cute too. Can we put them in a little bag? Of course you can put <laughs> them in a little, little, note, a little bag to go. <laughs> yeah, so all of these would work, like I said, for those after school or breakfast, um, especially if you're in a rush. Whitney, thanks so much. I think I'm going to start packing these snacks for myself even. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to find out more helpful nutrition tips, visit Fairway Meat and Grocery's website at fairway.com or shoot the dietitian an email at dietitians at fairwaystores.com. You can also follow Fairway on the social media handles listed on your screen.